daytime heating right now warming up. It's minimal for the day today, but we're still out ahead of that cold front that's kind of slicing its way through uh, the Sunshine State Jacksonville 70 degrees this morning. Tampa 69 clear skies from West Palm Beach. Not too bad if we're down in Miami, but I want to highlight here. Look at all this lightning Gulf of Mexico right now. My goodness, we can't really see the storms on radar just yet. They're a little bit too far out from view, but look at the all of this energy. This is from satellite imagery our cloud tops and they're reaching upwards of you know 30 40,000 feet. So there's a lot of energy in the Gulf of Mexico right now. Warm water. These thunderstorms tapping into that and all of that energy. Well, it's going to move into the peninsula as we go through the afternoon. So here's that future track. That line of storm starts to really fire up this morning. I always like to say when that sun starts to peak above the horizon, it's almost like that switch that turns things on. Thunderstorms and heavy rain starts to move in as we go through the afternoon, mostly across the northern tier of the peninsula, north of I-4, Jacksonville down into Tampa. You're going Going to see those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Unfortunately, Orlando will see much of the same. That starts to slowly shift as we go through the night. Scattered in activity, but still enough to bring in a dampen to your plans. Now, Sunday morning, we open up much drier. Jacksonville still some scattered showers lingering, but we will likely see an improved day as far as what we'll see. But look what comes in Sunday night. Yeah, once again, we'll see an increase in a lot of that moisture content. But the silver lining here is we need it. Yes, I know it's going to put a, a, a dampener on a lot of your spring break plans. Maybe not the best weekend uh, or a Saturday, I should say, to head to the beach. But all of this rain will help us out a bit where we have been quite dry so far.